verse on the Jester for Jesus website for today is from Hosea chapter 9 and verse 5. Just a part of it. And it says, what will you do in the solemn day? This is talking in the Old Testament about the things that might happen to the Israelites in the future um, before the time of Jesus. But thinking about this coming on the day after we've just celebrated the risen Christ on Easter Sunday, it must have been quite a solemn and confusing day for the disciples. They'd seen Jesus crucified on Friday. They would have been very scared, frightened on Saturday. Then on Sunday, this revelation that he'd risen from the dead. And they're like, oh, what are we going to do now? It may They may have felt it was going to be a bit of a solemn day for them because they may well be hunted down themselves. But actually with God, we need to just take courage because God is with us no matter what. For those of us that call upon his name, he is with us through thick, through thin, in the highs and in the lows. And it's sometimes that when we're in the highs, we can see great vast distances. And sometimes when we're in the lows, we can actually learn more and get a better perspective sometimes of what's going on, ready for us to go into the heights. So the disciples may well have feel a bit low. You may feel a bit low too today. So what would you do in the day of, of the solemn day? Well, actually, what we should do is push through and praise the Lord all the more. Because this verse goes on to talk about the feast days and the festivals of the Lord. So praise the Lord, even in the solemn days. <laughs>